All right, everybody. Th this is your boy, the movie collector here. And today, I will be showing you guys my Regency Enterprises movie collection. Which, I have a pretty good amount of them to show, so let's get on to it. Excellent film right here. October 1st and September 30th, 1993. Right, so here. Special bonus VHS. December 22nd, 1998. Last VHS, and then we're moving on to the DVDs. This is a Regency International Pictures movie. And it's also uncredited as well. September 21st, 1990. Now we're moving on to the DVDs. Comes in a green case, which is pretty cool. I also have Chipwrecked on DVD and the Squeakwool and the Road Chip on Blu-ray. Which I recently rewatched um all of these a, a couple a couple weeks ago and all four of them still kinda hold up. Currently on the full screen side, the other side is widescreen. Even though the Squeakle, in my opinion, is the best um, live-action Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. But in my opinion, the weakest for right now... Actually, the, the weakest, in my opinion, is The Road Chip, but it's still a good movie. For some reason right here, since, yeah, this is a THX certified DVD, yeah, but if you see right here, like, it's a little bit too small there, but, but, but they actually use the THX LaserDisc logo on the back and on the disc instead for some reason. Pretty weird, but whatever. My brother also has this on DVD as well.
movie I do want to check out. I also have Electra on DVD, which I'm going to show that movie later. I have Independence Day on VHS and the same movie Phone Booth Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the theatrical version of X-Men on DVD. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I also do have the 2001 version of Planet of the Apes on DVD. Forgot to mention that. From two of the six writers of Scary Movie, which I have that movie on DVD. I have Just Married on VHS in the same movie, and there's something about Mary on DVD. Blockbuster down this one is January 13th, 2008. Good movie. That that I did not think was all that bad in my opinion. Side A is full screen, side B is widescreen. And I kind of thought this DVD was going to stop at a couple parts. Because cause like the full screen side was kind of scratched when, when, whenever I watched it on there but it turns out it it didn't it didn't do that which is good so i'll i'll still be i'll still be keeping that movie as well Yeah, this mo this movie was called The Devil's Advocate whenever it was whenever it was released in theaters, but on the home media release it's just called Devil's Advocate. We're removing the the part on the title. I already showed Daredevil. Someone wrote the name Beast Stone on this DVD, but it's mine now. The case on this one was in very, very bad condition, so I had to tape it. DVD still works, though. Got, got it in there right. It's just these, this, this tape is kind of driving me nuts.
I remember getting this one brand new sealed from eBay, but I already opened it. Only seen parts of this movie and it's good so far. Excellent film right here. Love this movie. We're in an exclusive copy. Former rental from Blockbuster. And hold on a second. Let me let me just see if I forgot. Oh, no, no, I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I thought I forgot to show my DVD of All About Steve, but it's not made by Regency, so I'm good. Really need to check this film out. Disc 1 with the movie and disc 2 with the special features. Someone wrote the name Stone on this DVD, but it's mine now. Currently on the full screen side, the air side is widescreen. Oh. Sorry, whenever I was trying to pull out this DVD, it was, got caught in the core on the VHS rewinder, but whatever. I don't have the girl with the dragon tattoo yet. Also from the director of Fight Club. And also made by both 20th Century Fox and Regency. I had to put tape on this because the plastic was bro was horribly broken. DVD still works though.
Currently on the standard side, the other side is widescreen. Another one I do want to check out. The sequels to this one, though, I'm not interested in. Currently on the full screen side, there are sides widescreen. Another one I do want to check out. Same with this. Had to put some tape right here because whenever I was trying to open the seal, um, part of the plastic on the case started to get pretty ripped. So, yeah. Currently on the full screen side, there are sides widescreen. And part of the, um, like, Part, part like the part where like you, like, oh, like, like where the disc holds started to get broken. So, gotta be kind of careful with this. Sorry, I've been kind of stuttering lately, but whatever. If the 2022 movie comes out on home media, if it ever does, then I'm not going to bother with that movie because I really, really did not like that movie. Easily one, easily the worst movie of 2022, period. Thought I heard something inside here, but whatever. Up 
peel some of that off. This is a 20th Century Fox movie co-produced by Regency Enterprises, Rat Pack Entertainment, and Alpha's uh, Alpha, whatever, whatever. If it ends with something, pretty almost an insane logo combo. Oh, well, oh. <laughs> I already showed this one in my Fox Searchlight Pictures movie collection. So, and this is also a Regency movie, so I decided to show it here as well because of that. I don't have Under Siege 2 Dark Territory yet. Currently on the standard side, their side's widescreen. Obviously showing this because it has what happens in Vegas. And I also do have... Butch, no, I Independence Day on VHS and the same movie, Butch Cassie and the Sundance Kid, Ice Age, and Walk the Line on DVD. Last DVD, and then we're moving on to the four Blu-rays. This is one of the fewer movies that I have that has the newer Regency logo. And now we're moving on to the Blu-rays. This one right here is the I see. No, I mean, I sorry, I'm about to say Ice Age the Meltdown, but this is actually uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks the Squeak Wool. Again, the weakest in the live action uh, Alvin and Chipmunks franchise, but still, still a pretty good movie. This one did not come with the DVD version, but 
I'm okay with that. At least, at least, like, I got the Blu-ray of this one. And I also remember seeing this one in theaters. Same with this one. Recently got this Blu-ray for Christmas. And I also, yeah, I also saw this one in theaters. And this was an amazing film. Oh. Such an amazing movie. Oh. <laughs> Here's the last piece of physical media.